Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. I'm Yoshimi. Today, I'm going to show you how to make cabbage to aburage no omiso shiru. Miso soup at restaurant is sometimes so sad. Tiny, tiny bits of something that is too small to tell what it is. But if you make it at home, you can put as much ingredients as you like. And today, I'm using some cabbage and aburage deep fried tofu. But ingredients for miso soup can be anything, so play with it and find your favorite ingredients. At the end of the video, I will show you how I build a menu with this cabbage to aburage no miso shiru, so stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. Do you know what you need to make four servings? Cabbage, aburage, deep fried tofu, two teaspoons of hondashi, instant Japanese soup stock, and little less than four tablespoons of miso. Today, I'm using medium color miso, but you can use any miso you like or you have. As always, all the cutting first, so let's start with cabbage. Remove the core, and let's just make it into strips. There are two pieces, and I'm using one third of this, but let's cut it off into half, long way, then this way, into thin slices. I'm using one third of this. Aburage is freezable, so let's put this leftover in the freezer back and freeze. And you can use this next time you make miso soup. Let's put four cups of water in the pot. It's one cup of water per person. Hondashi, instant Japanese soup stock, and just bring it to boil. The soup stock is ready, so let's add the ingredients. Cabbage all in. And aburage. And just cook it until the cabbage is nice and soft. for 2 minutes or so and the cabbage is looking good. So it's time to add the miso paste. I'm using this miso strainer with the handle standing up like this. But if you don't have miso strainer, you can use small tea strainer or any strainer you have in your kitchen. Put the miso in the strainer. Dunk it into the soup and push it up. By using strainer, you don't have to worry about having chunk of miso paste in your soup bowl. All dissolved. Right after you put miso, you start to smell rich flavor of miso and your kitchen should be smelling like Japanese restaurant. When you start to smell that, turn the heat off and the miso soup is ready. Let's serve in the soup bowl. It's ready to go. Time for the tasting. 
Let's have some soup first. Mmm. And the ingredients. Aburage, deep fried tofu, adds richness to the soup and it's so good. It's an ultimate comfort food that you want to have every day. This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, one to two side dishes. Let's have cabbage to aburage no miso shiru here and plain rice here. You can have anything you like for the other dishes, but how about shrimp and edamame harumaki for the main, garlic wakame for one of the side dishes, and some sort of pickle to refresh your palate for the other one. I hope you enjoy the meal. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything.